And it goes a little yeah. something like Crystal and I am your nurse for today. May I know, ma'am, what is your name? Annabelle. How about your age? 41. Okay, ma'am, Annabelle, please allow me first to close your curtains for your privacy. Is it okay with you? These are the equipments that I will going to use. This stethoscope and the pen light, tongue blade, tape, cup of water with straw, the improvised pH strips, the improvised water-soluble lubricant, a specimen cup, pad or towel, the nasal gastric tube, and the acepto-irrigation syringe. Before applying the procedure, make sure that you wear your clean gloves. Okay. And then, place your patient in high Fowler's position or semi-Fowler position. And then, cover patient's chest with towel or pad. And then, explain the procedure and make sure to develop any appropriate hand signals or gestures. After it, assess your patient for any facial or nasal passage issues using a pen light. Okay, and then get the nasal gastric tube. And then measure from the tip of the nair to earlobe. To the siphoid process using nasogastric tube. Okay, and then mark the distance on the tube with a piece of tape. Okay. After marking the tube, lubricate for inches of the tube with water-soluble lubricant. And then ask your patient to slightly flex neck backward. And then insert the tube into nerve gently. Okay. Okay, gently. And then give water with straw if applicable. Or give patient dry swallow if necessary. And then ask patient to tip forehead forward. Advance the tube until the tape or mark point reaches the nair. Okay, ma'am. Okay. And then secure the nasogastric tube in place. Do not let go the tube until not secured. Okay, secure the tube in the nair, and then verify placement of tube. Okay. Okay, and then auscultate your patient's stomach to assure that the tube is already on the stomach. And then get the syringe and then aspirate the stomach content to collect gastric content. Okay, aspirate. Okay. 
and then put gastric content on a specimen cup. And then after it, get the pH strip and then test the pH level of your client. Okay. For the feeding, check first the feeding schedule of your patient and then get the Acepta syringe and then prepare the correct amount of oral food supplement as prescribed. Okay. And then connect the Acepta syringe in the end of the tube. And then get the prescribed water and then flush the tube with 30 ml of water as per prescribed. Okay. And then feed accordingly to the feeding schedule. Use food supplement as prescribed such as milk. And then ensure the syringe is not empty during feeding to minimize stomach discomfort. And then position the irrigation syringe slightly above the head. And then lastly, complete the feeding with flushing 30 ml of water as per prescribed. Okay. And then disconnect the acepto irrigation syringe in the end of the tube. And then close the feeding part with a stopper. And then remove the towel on your patient's chest and then fold it. And then gather all your equipments and clean your surface. And then lastly, don't forget to document all the findings or all the procedures that you have done in your patient. For the removal, first, stop the patient feeding machine for an hour or more before removing the nasogastric tube if necessary. And then don't forget to hand wash or do the hand hygiene and then clean your surface or your working area with disinfecting wipes and then discard the wipes that you have used and then cover your workplace with towel these are the equipment that I will going to use gloves syringe improvised pH strip and then cup of water. Okay, do the hand hygiene again and then put your gloves. So here we go. And then after it, Check the placement of the nasogastric tube by testing pH level. Okay, get the syringe and then remove the stopper and then aspirate for any stomach content to test the pH level of your client. Okay, and then remove. And then close again using the stopper. And then put gastric content on the pH strip. And then you can now check the pH level of your client. Okay, after you confirm that the tube is in the stomach, get some prescribed water using the syringe. Okay. And then open again the stopper on the tube. And then flush the nasogastric tube with correct amount of prescribed water. 
Flushing helps prevent stomach content from entering in the throat and lungs when you pull the tube. Okay. Close first the tube with the stopper. And then remove the tape gently. Okay. Pull the tape gently or slightly. And then pinch the nasogastric tube and slowly pull the tube. Okay. Slowly pull the tube. Okay, ma'am. And then after pulling the tube, put the nasogastric tube on prescribed trash can. Okay. And then remove your gloves. And then discard it. And then do the hand hygiene. And then get some towel and put on water. And then wash your patient's face or around the nose. Okay? And then get another towel to pat dry the patient's face. Okay? Discard it. And then lastly, check for skin irritation or damage from the tube or from the tape. Okay? And then do the hand hygiene again. And then gather all the equipments that you have used. Okay. And then lastly, clean your workplace area and don't forget to record all the findings or all the procedures that you have done.